Hello, welcome back, fifth graders. We're doing a bit of a review. Probably saw some similar questions uh, to this earlier in the week, so it should be a super easy day for you. So let's dive right in. So we're going to complete the pattern. 375 divided by 10 is 37.5, so it looks like the decimal was moved one time. Okay, what about 375 divided by 100? What do you think? Well, if we look at 375 divided by 1,000, Looks like to get from 375 to this number, we moved it one, two, three times. Okay, so we can count the zeros that we're dividing by to essentially see how many spots we moved. So for moving two zeros, 375, then what we're looking for for an answer would be moving two spots, one, two, or 3.75. All right, using uh, base 10 blocks, what fraction is represented? Remember, these are, this is 1, this is a tenth, okay? So this would be like 1.0, a tenth would be like 0 0.10, and a hundredth would be like 0 0.01. Think about money in that way, okay? One dollar, ten cents, a penny. So what do we have here? The pattern is going to look something like this. Okay, it's divided into two buckets. I can put a two there. After the uh, division happened, we were left with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now again, that's not 14. It's 14 cents or 14 hundredths. Okay. From what we have now, we could work backwards. 0.14 times 2 would be 0.28. Or we can count them. 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 28, and again it's 28 hundredths. So we're looking for that. Excellent. Okay, estimate the quotient here. Again, this one is a little bit of an art as much as anything. It takes practice. Let's just see what makes sense and what answer choices make the most sense as well. 31, that effort around to the Round the 5 off here would be 32. 32 divided by about 10. I think we'll do 10 for that one. 32 divided by 10. That's not as easy uh, if we're especially looking for a whole number. Uh, what about 30? 30 divided by 10. Super easy. Gives us 3. All right. Find the quotient, and at the end, of course, we have to be careful where the decimal ends up. Does 4 fit into 2? No. Does it fit into 22? Yeah. How many times? Well, 4 times 5 would do it. Okay. Now, what is 4 times 5? That's 20. Let's do 22. Take away that 20. We end up with 2. Does 4 fit into 2? Not quite. Let's get a little bit of help here. Does 4 fit into 22? Yeah, same thing we just had. So it's going to be a 5 again. 5 times 4 makes 20. Find the difference is 2. 4 does not fit into 2. Let's get some help. Does 4 fit into 24? Exactly 6 times it does. Okay, 6 times 4 is 24. Find the difference is 0. Now we have to think about the decimal. Of course, if this is an example where, see how I got a little bit sloppy, uh, didn't line up the columns as well as I could have, so now we're going to have to use some common sense to figure out where this decimal should go, okay? So does 4 fit into 22 500 times? If you had $22 split up among four siblings, would each of them get $500? That doesn't make sense. What about $22 divided four ways, is that $55? Somehow it got bigger again, that doesn't make sense. What about this? 22 divided by four is $5, and then that would be 56 cents. That's what we are looking for. 5.56. All right, and finally, in this case, what is A? So we had a number that was divided by 10,000, and we got 1.4. Now I see four zeros, right? One, two, three, four. So we're probably going to move it the decimal four spots. Now we can go two ways. 
if you ever forget whether it goes left or right, just try it, okay? Don't give up, just try it. One. So if we start with 1.423 and we move it four spots to the to this way, one, two, three, four. We ask ourselves, does that make sense? We had a number and we divided it by 10,000 to get a dollar. 40, okay, or 1.423 here. If we had a big number and we, if it, it was probably gonna be pretty big if we divide it 10,000 ways and it's still above one. So chances are we probably have made a mistake here. Let's try it one more time. What if we move it four spots in the other direction? One, two, three, four. So one, four, two, three, zero point zero. That would be fourteen thousand. Does fourteen thousand divided ten thousand ways becoming a dollar make sense? I think that does. Okay, a couple strategies you can use to figure those out, even if you're not sure exactly how to get started. All right, have a great day.